Okay, guys, so I think what I'm going to do is that I'm uh, not going to be doing YouTube like I thought I would try and do. Um, I was trying to just get people to, like, kind of just watch my channel or whatever, like most YouTubers do, where they try to get, like, millions of subscribers and stuff. I didn't need a million, but, um... I just think I'm just gonna post videos as I do or whatever. So, um, I'm gonna hopefully pop. I'm thinking of an idea right now, and uh, I think that uh, I'm going to do something like I just, I don't know, something like maybe, um, some kind of a spell or something on camera. Um, but, uh, sorry, I thought I just got this and it's my wand and, um, it's pretty cool. I like it. I won't let it go, but, um, I thought it was like broken, but it was actually I think my jewelry that I was touching. Um, but do you guys like my lipstick? Like I don't ever wear black, but um, I thought since this is gonna be like mm, kind of witchy, since I have a wand and I'm showing you guys it, it's got a little moon on the back, and it's got the goddess symbol on it and um so like I said I uh I thought I'd do there's a spell that I've been working on um it's kind of like like the other vlog that I posted where I got the devil's claw root and um the vampire incense and the vampire's blood the vampire blood incense excuse me the stick incense and then I got the two little like beeswax candles the white one and the red one and then um I got the two pink the pink and the white taper candle and I can't remember what else I got but like I said um I've been like working on I put the little red candle that I had the little red bees like this big and it's a little beeswax red candle and I've been dressing it with um oh yeah I got bats blood oil and I've been dressing it like every other night or every night for like for like two or three days I dressed it with bats blood oil I would put a little bit and just a little bit in my hand and I'd rub my hands together like this and I'd get it warm, and then I'd, like, just roll the candle around my in my hands with it and dress the candle with it. And then i just let it sit there for, like, three days. And, like, every day for three days, um, pretty much three days, I would dress it one time with, with bat's blood oil and then just let it sit there all day. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't nothing I would just let it sit there and before I dressed it with the oil I put the intention of what I want this spell or whatever to do so I took the candle I put intention into it and then I dressed it for three days with bats blood oil and now it's sitting in my bag it's just sitting there because I didn't I was trying to clean up and I just put it in there because I was I think I was I've got to switch rooms when my the rest of my family gets here later this week that like this upcoming Friday um so yeah and then I put like three little pieces of the devil's claw root like they're they're all like it's like ground up or broken up root and I took three little pieces and placed them in like a triangle around it one on one in the back one on the other side and then one in front of it so it was like a little triangle but I just you can just take them and I just took three of them and placed them around it and um I just let it sit in that little like triangle thing in the center of it um, for like three days while I dressed it each and every time and then put it back and blah 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 so you know um, I'm doing like an initiation type like offering myself and stuff like me like I said so this one 
Um, because of these right here, these two things, like every time I see them, how perfectly aligned they are. And then if you look over on this side, there's one right here and I can't find the other one because I don't know if it's covered up by this tattoo, but they're like, they're like exactly like this side. They're like exactly spaced one above and one below, like all the way across my neck, which every time like I look at them or I see them, I always think like maybe There's like something somewhere on your along teeth. the lines, like if vampires, you know, used to exist in the in the olden days or whatever, or back when or whatever, that that's like because they look like vampire bites. They look like little vampire bites right there, and I always think that maybe I have part vampire in me or something. Cause, uh huh, you like my teeth. I used to like. Um, uh, I used to wear vampire teeth all the time, and, um, so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, and, uh, you know, that's- Is that a wand? I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna use my new wand, and I've already consecrated it, because- Typically, they say when you consecrate things, you need a bowl of salt, a bowl of water, or blessed or holy water, or whatever, or and then you need um, incense for air and a candle for fire, and you're supposed to like say certain words, and then I, I consecrate this wand in the name of the Lady and the Lord, and um, and the Divine, and blah, 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 by earth, air, wind, fire, and water, you know, so on and so forth, but when you don't have like salt on hand, or you don't have water, or you don't have incense, or you just don't have the time to do the whole like literal consecration I mean there's certain things you do have to say like I took this outside and I took a piece of my Palo Santos that I got um and uh if you don't know what Palo Santos is it's just like a piece of wood and um it's for like blessing and cleansing and protecting you just like light it the tip of it on fire and when it starts to like burn burn like by itself you'll just like you can use it to like waft around in a circle and say I cleanse and protect this home and Blah, 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 you just go all around your home or in the center of the room and you just do that. And then you, you'd use fire safety with it, but, you know, that's what Palo Santos is. It's like sage bundles and stuff. But um, I took this and I took it outside and I took a sage, Palo Santo stick and I lit it. And I went from the tip of it and I did the very tip of it. And I went, started in a circle and I just went around it and said... Um, to, I consecrate this one in the name of the Lady and the Lord, or the or the God and the Goddess Hecate and Hades, which are my two God and Goddesses, and um and the Divine, and I consecrate this one to me, Mary Lawrence or Angel Sky or whatever, and I take I claim ownership of this wand as a magical tool for my workings. Blessed be, Samote so be, blessed be. And you just go all the way around and around and around and around and around and around. And then as you're doing that, you're cleansing it and protecting it. And then it is consecrated to you. So, but anyways, so uh, that's the, the spell thing that I'm going to do. Possibly unless I create a different one just to kind of like show you a little cool clip of of how to do a spell which I think I might do that one on film for you like kind of set it up for you um is because I haven't figured out the incantation yet for it which I got to think of that and start writing that down um I'm going to devote my soul and my body and myself to being a vampiress or a vampire or just because I think they're cool and I want to and uh, if you ever get a okay, chance, okay, guys, check out it's Logan, Logan Paul, South, not Logan Paul. Sorry wife, about that. Or soon to be wife. Um, I'm not sure if they've gotten married yet, but uh, there's some there's some cool vampires and stuff like that. And there's a couple other videos that I found when you click on Logan Paul or subscribe to him on YouTube, um, which is just Logan Paul. Uh, I think it's L O G A N. It's L O G A N S O U T H. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. This is a 10 minute, almost 11 minute video. I'll see you guys later. Toodles. Bye guys.